Hey guys, how's it going? It's Lazy Beast here, and today I'm joining you from the comfort of my living room with something a bit different. As you can see, Warcraft is on the TV. So I'm going to talk you through console port and how I've got this thing set up and how good it is because honestly it's much better than I thought it was going to be before I tried it out myself. So recently I invested in a new laptop and this is something I wanted to try out for a while and now it's been made 10 times easier with having a laptop. So as you can see we've got Warcraft running on the laptop and I've connected it to my TV just using the HDMI cable, bam, bam, straight in, puts the picture directly on. You can do that via Bluetooth but it's a bit more tricky and I don't think the quality is as good. So let's just dive into some gameplay. So we're using the Xbox controller and um, yeah, we're just going to go ahead. So this is Warcraft in the living room and it's like I say, it's so much better than I thought it was going to be. So um, I've leveled this guy up. This is a high mountain tour and hunter called Hunter because of home high mountain. And um, I've leveled him up to level 31 just using this console port add on with the controller down here. And it's been so good. Honestly, it's a lot easier to get used to than I thought it would be. Let's just have a little check on the map where we're going to be going. The wrong way. And we're going to be going down here. It's on the peak, so let's, let's do that. I think we can actually fly there. So basically, I'm using the default UI. Um, obviously, console port is the one that lets you use the controller. You need to download a little add-on called Wow Mapper. It's not te technically an add-on. It's like a desktop program which lets you use your controller to do the same functionality as what your keyboard and mouse can do. Um, and then yeah, you just jump in and it's quite easy actually to get used to. Let's just fly down there. So what I did when I set out, I set things up. It's actually quite easy to do. Uh, it took me like five minutes to set things up. Um, once you're in, I thought, right, I'm going to level a new character because I was a bit wary of getting in on my mains because obviously the amount of buttons that you have when you level 110 and I thought that might be really tricky to do, so I thought I'd level a new character, perfect time with the allied races coming out, level something new, and then try and get used to the controls, which is what I did. And it's really easy. So basically, you go in, you've got your settings. I'm not gonna, this isn't gonna be like a big guy how to set it up, it's just kind of showing like how good it is. But you've got all your settings and your controls and you can configure them there. Like I said, I'm not gonna show you all these. It's, it has its default settings that when you first load it up, you can just choose to use the defaults which is exactly what I did um, I'm not using their they have a little custom uh, action bar I'm not using that uh, I just wanted to use this to get it easy use the default UI to get it done a bit easier first um, so then yeah so I basically thought I'd get used to the, the kind of key binds of things um, the way it works kind of like the right um, so this kind of acts as like your right click this is your left click so if I click this in if I click my right cursor in it brings up the cursor if I put that to the center of the screen it'll lock back to my character and then I can move so if I right click my cursor in then I can move around click on things and I can click on the quest uh, select them and click on people uh, click on myself right click you know things like leave a dungeon all them kind of things um, so your left so we've got right click there. So when you want to interact with things, it's quite simple. Just right click. If you're close enough, ooh, right click again. And then not put your menu just as normal. Um, let's go and find some combat. Let's go and do some combat and show you that. So you can see that the movement's quite simple and natural. And, you know, move around using your left uh, analog stick. Camera's on your right. So that's quite nice and simple to use if you've played any other, like, kind of RPG games on... Uh, your console and this works exactly the same with the ps3 or steam controller i believe as well um so now i've got this quest to go and kill some guys using an item so obviously when you're questing sometimes you get items and you thought might think oh it might be a pain to keep going over here and like clicking that you don't have to do that if you press lb lt and a it brings up your little utility wheel now if you just go up there and like go bam it uses the item for you now it does this for every single quest it automatically puts ah there we go it does it automatically puts them on your ring so they're dead easy to use so targeting if you use lb and rb it'll target things it doesn't do this for friendlies as you can see it just does this for enemies so i can target that guy and then let's go do some combat so bam, straight in and you can obviously you can change these binds as you wish um it's really nice and easy you can have things set up exactly how you want them to be um so again like looting like you just you get your cursor out 
loop that, bam, bam, nice and easy. So um, it really feels good. So I just kind of, what I did, and what I'd recommend to you if you want to give this a go and try it out, start off, just maybe make a new character if you've got like a low level ult, try, try playing it with that first. Just do some combat, get used to the feel of things, um, switch things around as you would like them, and then push it. Maybe pl try and play on one of your mains, and I'll show you some footage of me playing on my Affliction Warlock in a bit. Yeah, try playing one of your mains, do a dungeon, because I've done dungeons very successfully on this. Obviously things like tanking and healing will be a bit different, but they are not um, impossible. You can definitely do that kind of thing on here. And yeah, just go and have some fun, because this, honestly, playing in the living room with the volume whacked up, you know, that you've got the ambience, it's so immersive. It just feels really good to be sat down in the living room and not stuck upstairs in the office. Um, I highly recommend it. And definitely with the Allied races, it's just, it just, it's just perfect. It's just absolutely perfect to come and sit down there and do a bit of leveling. It, uh, it really is good. Highly recommend it. So if you've got the option to, definitely try it. All right, so here we are on my Affliction Warlock and we're just gonna uh, go and do some little quests around uh, Argus. So um, as you can see, similar setup, a lot more abilities on the bars at the bottom. So obviously you can see the uh, key binds there. Um, so like on the bottom left bar, we've just got simple X, Y, B, R, B, R, T. And then things get a bit more in depth. So you've got LT and you can see it kind of highlights them as I press it. So if I press my left trigger, it's the top left bar. So it's LT, X, LT, Y, which I've just used. LTB brings a portal up, so you get your targeting things you would normally, and you're moving around with your right stick. So you can see there, L3 to cast it, R3 to cancel it, so I can cancel it. If I want to press it, LTB, bam, oh, not in line of sight, there we go. What a noob. Um, there we go, and I can use it, and again, you just if I just get my cursor to the right, I can click on this and use it. So um, it really is quite fluid once you get used to it. Um, so again, this add-on with the questing is called Immersion. It's really nice, it just makes the questing thing feel a bit better. There's an alternative called Storyline if you're interested, but um, I prefer Immersion. So for this, you've got your options. You can, um, you can either, obviously you can see it's got the A cursor there. You can either move around to fly to different places, or you can press your right trigger and get your cursor and just click. So obviously if I was to click, let's, let's, let's go and do the invasion point over there. That would be a good little bit of gameplay to show you. So you can use your regular add-ons, uh, any add-on that you would use like SCADA for counting kind of DPS or um, weak or you can use them and they look just fine. And obviously you've got a ton, you've got like a ton of room on the uh, UI when it's on a telly. There's just so much more space for things, which obviously you don't want to fill that. Um, that's why I've gone kind of like a chilled out UI, just using the default thing just because that's what it's all about, being more immersed in the game and stuff when you're using this kind of setup. So in we go. And right, so with the max level characters, in particular my druid, just because of so many abilities, but with the warlock as well, I was a bit worried thinking like, I've got so many things and like obviously casting dots and everyone, is it gonna be a real hassle to kind of target people? Um, and it's actually not that bad. So let's kind of go in here on this guy. Um, I'm just going for some normal combat. Probably won't be perfect, but it's all good. Um, it is, you know, it is it is easy enough to follow your rotation. Obviously, I've got my weak auras there to remind me of things. Um, you know, my dots running out. So it's, you know, you, you can basically play the same as you would play um, on a PC. And obviously, once you get used to it. So really, total time with this, I've probably played about eight hours in total. Like, obviously, leveling that. Uh, alt to get used to things and um, playing a little bit on my mains but not not so much on my mains because the purpose of this was really to level level my characters um, and it is a lot of fun it is really is a lot of fun let's fight a couple of things at the same time show you like it's that it's it's all right to um, like multi dot things and stuff like that. you know it's not a real hassle dots up on that guy, switch to this guy, you know, it's, it's easy enough to do. And we got ourselves a body. So if you've got any add-ons like this thing here, this world quest tracker thing, obviously you can just 
you might think, oh, this thing's stuck on the screen. No, you can just do that and you can just take it off as, as you would normally. Most things that pop up, um, you know, that you might want to get rid of straight away, just maybe like add an update text like LDY or whatever, if you use that kind of thing. Um, let's get a few things going here. Did I bind my thingy to? LDY. Super corruption. Is that very well, but never mind. Um, but yeah, you, you can you just you can just play you can just play as normal. Now, obviously, things like raiding, you can raid if you're a class that doesn't have that many buttons in its rotation or that's quite straightforward to play. You know, you could probably you could you could probably get away with raiding with this. Um, if you're a class like I mean, like an affliction warlock, maybe you'd need a lot more practice to actually be very effective with it. Um, well, who knows? It depends on your individual skill. Um, obviously, PvP, I just wouldn't bother. Um, but yeah, boom. Wrong button there. Obviously, that happens quite a bit when you're first getting used to it. <laughs> but it's all good. You see how easy it was to then just switch to that guy then? The same back to him. Oh, I keep pressing summer doom guard. You get these issues, but it's all good. So basically, you can see I can kind of, I can kind of do exactly everything that I would do on the computer. I can do it on here quite effectively. That was my big worry with it. Like, oh, it's going to just be incredibly slow. Like, why why would I bother playing on the console when I could just play on my computer and get things done like three times as quick? But yeah, that is the case to begin with. But as you figure it out, as you get used to the controls, it really just kind of opens up, and you can do, you can just, you can just be as efficient as you can with a controller, as you will be on your computer. So we'll just finish off this, uh, this invasion thing. Keep pressing the wrong button. As you can see we can multi dot these guys up quite easily. My mount, things like, usually I have my mount bound to something like F8, so it's quite out of the way. But this, I've got it bound to LT, LB, um, and RT. So, that, uh, you know, it's not something you'd press in combat, but it's obscure enough to, like, know what it is when you need it. When you need to have it, what's going on here? A little bit clunky sometimes, you know, when you're trying to click on things that are small or whatever, but... You do, you do, you really do get used to it and it does not take that long. So like it's quite, it is, you know, like when you're fighting a boss and there's shit on the ground, uh, it's easy enough to move out of the way. Just You can just be as kind of responsive as you would be on your little computer. I ain't going to take this guy on me on, it'll probably be a dumb idea. But yeah, you know, this is kind of, this wouldn't have been much quicker if I was on my PC. Let's just go for it. Do you know what I mean? It's not... It's not like I haven't suffered from being on here um, at all. Um, and it's a lot more fun because it's just different, you know what I mean? It kind of breathes a bit a bit of life back into the game. You know, and what, what more perfect time to play like this, you know, when we're waiting for the expansion to come, you might not have a lot left to do, you might not raid, you might want to level up all four allied races if you're slightly mad. Um, but you know, why not? And this is just such a good way to do it. Now, if you want me to put, like, do any more videos on this, um, a little setup guide, maybe, I've done the wrong button again, a little setup guide maybe, or um, just show you a bit more about the UI or things like that, you know, then um, I'm very happy to do that. So just let me know. You see, I have no trouble just combat as usual. You know what I mean? Um, and then all your little unusual abilities. Ah, oh, mana. What, what did I bind that to? Now, one of one of the only things with this is obviously I, I can I can play this. I'm lucky to play this on the laptop, and then just jump back on the computer um, and my add-ons and things stay the same on my PC. But obviously, if you do things like move abilities on your action bars to make it more comfortable to play with on the controller, 
um, they will be moved when you go back on your PC. So that's the only thing. Um, so if you can find yourself a nice setup that works for both, then that's a lot more beneficial and you'll just basically spend less time um, messing with the UI when you switch between platforms. Uh, but that, that is kind of like only a minor issue. Um, so yeah, like the abilities on the right hand side of the bar to use them, it's kind of, you can see again, if I press in, so left trigger, left, uh, left trigger and left on the D-pad will be my live tap. So I can use that and the same for all the others. And then I've got my right trigger. Oh, sorry, my right trigger is an ability, but yeah. Um, there we go. And all these things that are over here, I can use, I can just click on them if I want to. Again, you can just move to stop it. My bag is on uh, select. You can use these things. So you want to go on your bags, right click them and to use them, just as you would normally. And when I say right click, I mean right analog stick. Um, so that's all good. Things like your menus, um, let's go to the town and we will, the city, shall I say, and we will um, show you some of the, like, the NPC interaction kind of menu type things. And flying as well, flying. All right, so here we are in Dalaran. Let's uh, get our mounted up. And um, so flying is quite nice on this. Again, you just move around. And initially it was a bit like, whoa, it feels really weird. But then once you get good, you can be accurate. You can fly through doors and stuff. Accurate, he says that he smashes his face into the wall. Uh, but yeah, you get you very quickly get used to it. Um, so like NPC interactions and things, let's show you say like the transmog guy. Um, click on him, transmog me gear. Let that load up. So you can do things again. You can just all I'm doing here is pressing on the uh, directional pad thing um, around the UI. You can choose certain things. It's taking a little second to load up here. There we go. Um, got a lot going on for the laptop recording some of the footage as well but so there we go you can change these things just as you would you know you can go through the pages uh, again or you've got the option of using your cursor to just click things as you you know you could do you might find that's a bit quicker a bit more to your liking uh, and you can press start uh, to just get yourself off them menus uh, things like let's go to the bank or somewhere you can see here on my UI I've not been too fussy with it like my map is covered up by some of my buttons there um, I don't usually play this character um, on the thing, so that's fine on the console. And again, things like your bank, you know, you can you can click things, you can drag things, you can put them on that utility wheel if you want to use that later. Do you know what I mean? You can put them in your bags, just exactly as you would with the keyboard and mouse. Um, your gear, like your character, and you go on. You've got this lovely menu. Your character, you can check your gear around. You know, if you want to right click on this, I think left left thing kind of. Is it left trigger is kind of like shift and left button is kind of like control if i get that right i might have got them the wrong way around so you can do you can just do everything that you used to be able to with the keyboard and mouse you can literally do everything it, it's so it, this is just it kind of blew me away how good it actually was um i thought that i'd be jumping to the laptop every two seconds to like do things on there um but i'm really not um it's just so good. So guys, there we go. There's World of Warcraft in the living room and it's bloody fantastic. If you can give it a go, give it a go. It's, it's honestly one of the best experiences I've had like playing World of Warcraft. It's so chill. It's so good. And yeah, there we go. So I hope you've enjoyed this kind of different video, guys. And if you have, um, please do leave a like on the old video there. Um, and I've been Les Beast and I'll see you next time. Have a good day. Cheers. Cheers.